Meanwhile, a new step in the war on inflation. The Federal Reserve announced today another hike in interest rates. 10 News reporter Sydney Jacksheimer is working for you tonight to explain how this increase is expected to help lower costs and how you can help prepare for a potential recession. Everyone is feeling the effects. We have cut back on beef. I even had to cut back on taking my brother to the Virginia Beach this weekend. In an effort to slow the economy and bring down prices, the Federal Reserve announced Wednesday a three-quarter percent hike in interest rates, the fourth hike this year. The demand pull inflation is what the Fed's going after. They're trying to slow down people's demand for goods and services, which will then slow down inflation. University of Lynchburg economics professor Gerald Pranti says there is evidence showing the previous interest hikes have worked, like the housing market cooling off. So people aren't willing to pay as much for a house or may hold off on buying that house until mortgage rates get lower. You can't risk it at this moment because you don't know what's going to happen. I'm waiting till the economy slow on down before I decide anything like that. Which is exactly what the Federal Reserve is trying to do. But it's a fine line between slowing down and going into a recession. So the Fed's number one priority right now is to get inflation under control and then try to get a soft landing and not have that demand decrease be too large to where you put the economy into recession. I mean, historically, uh, in recessions come after these types of situations, but there's no guarantee. But if I was betting, I would say there would be a recession within the next two years. In order to prepare for a potential recession, Pranti recommends putting money aside for savings and cutting back on spending. In Roanoke, Sydney Jacks, Timer 10 News, working for you.